Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me. This video is not going to be for everybody, just a few people and that's fine. Um, somebody left me some uh, really great words of advice and um, a link and I just saw it and it's so inspirational. I had to make a little video about it. So we are going to check and see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, well, on my true crime, my last one before <clears throat> this tonight's was about all those uh, kids drowning. Anyway, I have a sailor <laughs> as my sub, and this is what he said. And you know what, you guys, this is important, and I'm reading it to you. Everyone reading this, don't ever wear a life jacket inside a ship. It will kill you. Keep it in your hands until you get on deck. And on a big ship... If the water reach your knees, you are effed. Unless you have a sky hatch, getting up the stairs will be like climbing a waterfall. Get out and have your life jacket in your hands until you see the sea. Your life jacket can make you drown, even on a small boat. Keep it in your hands and take on when you are outside. That reminds me of the scene in uh, Titanic, to be honest. All that water rushing in, yeah. Many people die because of that mistake. When the water gets too high, the life jacket will make you pushed up against the ceiling and you will have no way to escape. So, put it on when you are on deck. And on small ships, always have it on while being on deck. A big wave, it can end your life. We have a rule on our ship. When on sea, it's a dictatorship and we all do what our captain says. Our life is in his hands. On land, it's a democracy, and we all have a say. A skipper is responsible for everyone on board when sailing, and if he Fs up, it's on him and nobody else. I have been sailing my whole life. And being a skipper means you take responsibility for all the passengers. I did parachuting, too. Imagine the pilot just jumping out the airplane when things go wrong. No effing way. You stay until everyone is safe. I... <clears throat> Excuse me, I use because you can never guarantee that, but you have to do your best. Our captain, Samuel Foucher, always says, always says he will be in the top of mast and <clears throat> holding on till the ship goes down. I don't want him or Hawaii to go down, but I will trust him with my life. Now, I love that. You know, he said that if only that. We had that kind of a captain um, for that ferry for those children. This is amazing advice, and I thank you very, very much for it. So I am going to show you guys a lovely little um, slideshow I put together. And then we're just going to watch a little, couple little clips of what this is all about and what he does. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the ship. Hawaii, I think it's called, right? I think that's how it's said. If I if I mistake, I'm very, very, very sorry. I believe it was made in, what, 1935, I think? Anyways, this is in Denmark. <clears throat> My husband's from Denmark. I'm from Norway. <laughs> so it kind of, and, and you know, my dad has a, literally a tattoo of... I swear this ship on his arm. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> so I kind of had a soft spot when I saw it. So this is um, just pictures of it. And then we'll see inside a little bit. Um, that's the starboard captain, the mess room. Isn't that gorgeous? They did a wonderful job. Um, and we'll see the people who uh, who did this in pictures. And of course, I have... The clips but it's fascinating really it's amazing people who uh, live on the sea are special kind of people they really are yeah the sea legs type thing right you really got to be a special person to do this oh my I have great respect and I have great respect for captains that's why when that oh that awful story of the ferry and those kids I just could not believe it because I know sailors are they respect and they have uh, they're just not like that they 
they help first, right? And it was shown that Captain was the only one who was doing that. Like, man. But look, everybody's just pitching in and, and doing what they can to get this boat up and going. And it's amazing. Look how huge that is. It's amazing what people can do when they set their minds to it, you know? It really is. It's it's phenomenal. Really. Kudos to you guys, honestly. Kudos to you. Yeah, not everybody could do this. The last one's in the... I want a sunset, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five meter long, two-masted wooden galleys from 1935 is being restored by a strong group of friends since summer 2014. Wow. It's amazing. Great music. <laughs> I love it. Wasn't that amazing? I think it was amazing. Gives me a lot of inspiration too. You can do anything you set your mind to, right? Anyways, I'm going to put on a second little ditty they have and shows everybody and how they work together. And I just, I adore it. I do. I love this. So let's enjoy it. <laughs> Hawilla is how you say it, Hawilla? Like a family, eh? Hey? Amazing. Join us aboard Havila, a 35 meter long traditional wooden tall ship built in 1935. Since 2020, the ship has been located in Holbeck Harbor, Denmark. She is currently being rebuilt by a group of shipwrights, carpenters, naval architects, and dedicated volunteers in the hopes of transporting fair trade cargo across the Atlantic and beyond. To begin making her seaworthy again, she needed a great deal of work. Once brought onto land, our team began to seal and reinforce the hull below the water. With great pleasure, the boat has recently launched successfully after replacing many frame sections and much of the hull. Follow along this journey to continue seeing what has been done and what exciting improvements are yet to come. That's amazing. Good job, you guys. Great job. Am 
My husband will be proud to be a Great Dane. <laughs> guys I'm just going to end it with the slideshow again <laughs> I probably I don't know I don't know if I did it in the right order or anything or did it any justice but um, just know that um, I think it's amazing I really do I'm, that's amazing Thank you so much for um, sharing that wisdom. You very well could have saved and might very well still have saved somebody's life with that. Because I didn't know that. And um, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. These are the kind of people I want to be part of my channel. <laughs> people with heart. Beautiful. I love it. I love it.